The Doctor is a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey, and has the ability to regenerate, communicate using telepathy, and of course has two hearts, which is still one less than an octopus, and two more than a starfish. Even though having multiple hearts is pretty cool, and so are bow ties by the way, it is nowhere near as cool as some of the Doctor's gadgets, like the amazing sonic screwdriver, which made its first television appearance on March 16th, 1968, and would go on to be the most durable device that I've ever seen. And that includes the Nokia 333. By the, way. the sonic screwdriver has lasted through about 141 episodes, meaning that it has about 79 more television appearances than arguably the highest rated TV show ever, Breaking Bad. Some of the many features of this long lasting screwdriver include the ability to do a full medical body scan on just about any organism, being capable of setting substances on fire, and being able to lock and unlock pretty much every door in the universe. Except wood, apparently. Meaning that this would be destroyed in a fight with this. The term sonic in sonic screwdriver is another word for sound, but how could a screwdriver that uses sound as its main interaction be able to do such a wide variety of tasks in the universe? Well, I'm glad you asked. Scientists have recently developed a machine that can use sound waves to levitate objects. This type of technology could be used one day to help us open doors better than the doctor. This is because it would theoretically work on any kind of door, including wooden ones. We have also developed machines that can do full medical body scans using just sound waves. You might know this as an ultrasound. This technology has been around for about 50 years, so it's no surprise that you can buy a portable ultrasound that's about the same size as your iPhone. But what's different about the doctor's screwdriver is that it diagnoses every single disease and abnormality in your body in just a few seconds. Meanwhile, ours is used to check if you should be buying one or two baby shirts. Has anyone ever wondered how the sonic screwdriver would be powered? Now it is possible that it might just run on electricity. The show has mentioned several times that the screwdriver can be charged by the TARDIS, but since it is a sonic screwdriver, is it possible that it can be charged by sound? Well, recently scientists have been able to produce electricity using zinc oxide and sound waves. Yep, this means that one day this kind of technology could be saving millions of dollars on the electricity bill of raging gamers around the world. So next thing on the list to talk about is this average big blue box thing that can travel through time and space and is powered by a decaying star while also being bigger on the inside as well. This bigger on the inside thing is all made possible because the TARDIS actually exists in multiple dimensions. For example, a square exists in two spatial dimensions just like this video. A cube exists in three spatial dimensions which is also where we live with a crack smoking mayor. And a tesseract is where four dimensional figures would theoretically exist. And the TARDIS would exist in all of these spatial dimensions and possibly more. So picture stepping through a three dimensional cube and ending up in a four dimensional tesseract. That's kind of what happens when you step into the TARDIS. This could also mean that the TARDIS might actually be infinite in size on the inside. And within this infinite box exists a dying star that is kept in a permanent state of decay. This is called the Eye of Harmony. Becoming a black hole. Time Lord Engineering, you rip the star from its orbit, suspended in a permanent state of decay. This way. This theoretical event would release one quarter decillion joules of energy per second. That's 100 billion times more energy than the sun releases in a year. In the television show, this energy is used to open up a wormhole which allows traveling through time and space. But time traveling with the TARDIS could be done in different ways. So what are those other ways? Well, that's gonna require a whole other episode in itself. In summary, it's a timey-wimey thing. So if you liked this video, you can watch another science video by clicking over here. And if you're really cool, you can click over here too. Stay tuned for my next science video and thank you for watching Jaxi.